talk about when I when we start looking at instruction, what I find interesting is I get people out here and they know when they see their swing on a video, I say, okay, tell me what you think. So they start their backswing, they go, oh, well, I'm a little outside or I'm a little inside. Okay, yeah, now I lifted it. Now I'm across the line. Now the now I'm out and over the top, chicken wing. I said, what about your impact position? They go, what? I go, yeah, what'd you think of impact? I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? You know everything there is to know about every one of these positions that you think are important and you don't know impact. Now what's interesting, what I found is even some really good players, I get them out here and I set them up and I say, okay, you're set up now, show me your impact position. And they'll, most of the time if they err, they'll do this. So they'll turn this shoulder out and they'll push this hip and their right arm will get high like this. And they'll go, set up, impact. And this hip will come, they'll do this. I go, whoa, whoa, whoa time out. So if I set up, so I'm set up here. When I go to my impact position, here's what's going to happen. My left leg pushes my left hip out of the way. Now, my, because my hands start where the club shaft's aimed about in the middle of my back, there's not much uplift in my arms. So I start here. When I go to impact, my left leg pushes my left hip out of the way. That hip getting pushed out of the way and up also moves this shoulder up and it drops this down. It puts my right arm right on the back of the shaft. So there's a dress. There's impact. There's a dress. There's impact. Now, if I go impact and then I make a little back swing and I just tap the ball and I start feeling what it feels like to get to impact, which is exactly what we did with putting and chipping. So we start building the swing from impact to the top back down to a dress, as opposed to starting with a dress, swing up here, get here, get there, hoping that all that stuff runs into or, or adds up to impact. It usually doesn't. So, Brian, you go ahead and set up there. In fact, take what club you got? No, no. Take this seven a little longer. That's okay. All right, so you set up to it. All right, so now you're all set up. Now show me your impact position. That's pretty good. This hip gets to get pushed out of the way a little more. This shoulder has to come down. There you go, right there. Now go back to address. Okay, go to impact. Good. Now, Doug, take your camera or your phone. Wow. <laughs> right, that's okay. You're good right there. Now, normally we do this with a video, but we got the phone set up. So there's your address position. Then we go to impact. Go back to address. Go to impact. See, now what I've done with your hips is this left hip now has moved away from the ball a little bit. Address, impact. Okay, now take the club back about two feet and just chip it out there and line your right arm up with it. There you go. Now that's how you start to learn where you've got to get. Because if you try to swing up here and come down, now when you look at that on the, on the camera there, what you're going to see is you'll go from address at impact, your hips won't be closer to the ball. The big reason is when you start here, okay, and you just go to impact, you're not dealing with the backswing. So where most people struggle on their backswing is this hip doesn't get out of the way. But when you start right here and you go to impact, this hip doesn't have the chance to get in your way. Does that make sense? Yes. So in, uh, right off the chute from here, when you go to impact, your left hip socket gets pushed further away from the ball than it started. Well, if you start to feel impact and then you start making little swings and you start feeling your impact position, then as you make bigger and bigger swings, your swing starts to go, well, wait a minute. If I've got to get here and you start making a bigger back swing, everything starts to go, okay, what do I have to do here to get there? That makes sense? Yes. As opposed to starting here, trying to get here, and then trying to figure out how to make that all work back here. In my opinion, they run it all backwards, which is why I start on the putting green, and we start with your right arm on the back of the shaft, and then she, because it's, it's developing everything from impact back. Does that make that sense? Makes total right, sense. You come on up here, Doug. Let's do the same thing. I'm assuming we were nowhere near that before. I already know the answer to that question, but I thought I'd ask it anyway. Now what, no, what's the question? So, and we were nowhere near that before. Not even close. Yeah. Now, when you see that, when you look that on your phone, and you look at where your hips are, and where your body is, and what impact looks like, it's not even going to be close to what we were looking at before. Holy so you crap. So go ahead and set up. Oh, sorry. This is a G-rated video. 
Okay, so there's your setup. Okay, go to impact. <laughs> okay, start over again. Okay, so we got to go here and there. Your right arm's got to get a lot lower and your hand's got to get right there. Right there. Okay, go to him. Right there. Good. Now, we're in that position. Now, all you're going to do is take the club back about two feet or so. Go ahead, just take it back about two feet and tap the ball. Just go through. That's how you start programming impact. Now, see, that plays into, if you look at that, everything we did everything we did with putting so we started with we started with putting here doing this okay right arms on the back of the shaft and then we went we went a little further away and now we're going to chipping okay and then we went to pitching which now we've got our grip on there we've gone from a putting grip now we're using a little hands but now you're starting to pivot your body but we're standing on the left foot so now as you're coming into the ball what are you doing we're programming, now you're doing this with chipping, and we start making the swing bigger and bigger, and we add face control to that, and you got it. I mean, that's pretty much how easy it is to teach the game. But nobody teaches it this way, from impact back. They all teach it from, here's your setup, let's get your setup right. Not that it's not important, but they start with setup, let's make your back swing, and then let's figure out how to get down here. Ugh. Oh, in my- even teach an impact from that position? No. No, because if you look at my setup, you look at all the guys on tour, it impact in all sports. So, tennis. Now, I use these things. This is a rebounder, okay? In tennis, they use this to get the timing of the ball bouncing and hitting it. But if, I, if you slow that down and I hit the ball, when I hit the ball, if you see where my right arm is relative to the racket, my right arm is right on the back of the racket. Or on, yeah, it's right parallel to the racket. There's no way I would run my hand up this way. So it's right here. So when I hit the ball, I'm just like that. So my, my forearm lines up with the racket. Now in tennis, they take the racket from down here like this, and they brush up on the ball. But when they hit it, they're just, that's the relationship they're in. You play baseball, when you hit the ball, your right arm is still bent, and it's right there on the back of the bat. Nobody gets their right arm above the bat. So their impact position is right there. Now, if you take that same position that we did with baseball, <coughs> so you got a baseball bat, and you're doing this, and you bend over, what have you got? So the impact positions, the real, the the, the, the pressure and how this lines up is exactly the same. And if your right arm gets high, if that's not your main task, you can have everything else pretty good, and then all of a sudden the impact's a little off, you're no good, because you can't compress the ball. So starting people out with setup, impact. So they start to understand where they're trying to get to. And then little teeny shots, so they start to feel what it feels like to apply the club to the ball and go through the ball with the face working, they do that. If they understand that and then you start making their swing bigger, what happens is most of the things that we deal with that go wrong in swings go away because they're not relevant to impact. I mean, it just makes sense to me. That's how I learned the game. I knew impact from all the other sports I'd played. So I just took it back and made it go forward in the easiest way I could get it to impact. When they started twisting me and doing all kinds of stuff with my arms, it didn't make sense and it didn't feel right, but I got into believing that that was the way to do it. And it is a way to do it, but it's complicated. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for regular updates and tips. Thanks for watching.